Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. In today's episode, I'm gonna give you an overview of the five liquid foods from Aquaforest I've been feeding my reef tank. All right guys, thank you for joining me in another episode of Parker's Reefs and I'm gonna fire off the stopwatch because I wanna see how quickly I can cover all of the information you need to know about these five foods from Aquaforest. We'll start off by putting a little bit of each one into a plate so you can have a good close up look at what is in each one of them. And then I'll put each one of them individually into the tank so you can see how my fish and coral respond to each one. Then I'll let you guys decide for yourselves which one is gonna suit you and your tank because that's the most important thing. Let's jump into it. All right, first cab off the rank is the ever popular liquid mysis. Now I do keep these all in the fridge and you can see I give them a good shake before serving. Now it's gonna squirt a little bit on the plate here so you can have a look. I think you'll find the consistency to be a little bit smaller than that of a frozen cube of mysis that has defrosted. It does contain mysis, water, salt, garlic, and an antioxidant. And uh, yeah, the size is a little bit smaller than you would find in a uh, frozen mysis cube, which depending on your fish and corals, could be a positive or a negative, but uh, that's what it looks like up close and personal. Let's move on over to the next one, which is a coral food, the Aquaforest Liquid Rotifers. Now, this one contains rotifers, funnily enough, marine roe, a red plankton, water, salt, and an antioxidant. And you can see here on the plate after giving it a good shake that it is a much finer consistency. Obviously this one is targeted at your corals. I'm sure the small fish will eat it too and we'll check that out in a minute, but um, it looks a lot like your, uh, I guess your coral foods when they're mixed with water, that sort of brown water consistency. Moving on to the next one and one of my favorites is the Aquaforest Plankton Elixir. Now this one, yes, again, store in the fridge, but do give it a good shake because you'll see here, I have to give it a couple of squirts because I get a huge chunk out there. This one contains a high quality zooplankton and a high content of Calanus fernmarchius. I have no idea what that is, but you can see the uh, consistency there. It almost looks like it's got chili flakes in there, but uh, we'll see how the fish respond to that one in a minute. It's a uh, real interesting little mix, but uh, moving on to the next one, which will be our uh, Artemia, the liquid Artemia, which contains Artemia salina, water, salt, garlic, and an antioxidant. Give it a good shake and um, I'll squirt some onto the plate here. You can see its color is quite different from the others. It's uh, got a bit more of a uh, gray or black coloration to it. This one I got specifically to try and uh, get some food into my little scooter blennies and you can see the uh, Artemia in there. The liquid around it, he's a little bit darker in color but um, I, I'm told that is all good and uh, you can see the little organisms there that uh, the fish are gonna snap up and I'm sure some of the corals as well. And then moving on to our last, but definitely not our least, the Aquaforest Liquid Veggie. This one, as you would expect, does contain sea algae, but also spinach, water, salt, and an antioxidant. You can see I had to give it an extra little shake here because uh, you can get some chunks of seaweed and uh, spinach just sort of blocking up the outlet there. And you can see it is fairly large in chunks and um, I'm sure my tangs are gonna go crazy for this one, but uh, we will find out in a moment when we put some in the tank. All right, well, that's the collection of all five on uh, my kitchen plates, but uh, what they look like on the kitchen plates is kind of irrelevant. Let's get them in the fish tank and see how the fish respond. All right, first off the trough is uh, the liquid mysis, one most people are probably most comfortable with. I'm only gonna give this a little squirt in there. Let's see how the fish respond. I think it was fair to say the liquid mice has created a fair feeding frenzy. Let's see how we go with the Aquaforest liquid rotifers. This one is probably more known as a uh, coral food, but you can see the chunks of it there are quite happily eaten by the fish as well. The smaller fish in particular, absolutely love it. All right, next up on the menu is the liquid Artemia. This one I was particularly keen on for my dragonettes or the uh, scooter blennies. But I'm not sure if it's gonna get down to the bottom of the tank because uh, my Anthias and Chromis absolutely smash anything I put in there. All 
All right, this next one is the one that surprised me the most. The Plankton Elixir just has such a varied mix of sizes in there. So I recommend you give it a good shake first. You can see the different sizes of pieces going in the tank there. Even gets the big fish interested, not just the little guys. All right, last but not least, specifically for the big guys in my system, the liquid veggie. Let's see how they respond to that. Wonder if they're gonna get any before the little guys eat it all. All right, guys, there you have it. That's my super quick overview of the five different liquid foods available from Aquaforest. Probably my favorite is the AF Plankton Elixir just because I feel it's got sized particles that will suit all the way down to the smallest of corals, all the way up to the largest of fish. But to be honest, it's one of those things that I would feed not every day, just on occurrence every now and then, just to mix the diet up for both your fish and your corals. For that reason alone, I like to keep a, one of each in the fridge just to give a squirt when I don't want to get my hands all uh, stinky from frozen food. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I didn't go into any huge amount of detail. I wanted to pump this one out as quickly as possible just so you can get all of the key information that you need in a quick glance. If you do have any further questions, feel free to pop in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And last but not least, consider subscribing if you are not already a subscriber. Till next time, guys, stay safe, keep reefing. Cheers, bye.